everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I am here with a very exciting sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. This one is a collaboration with Harry Potter and it will release tomorrow which is the 29th of July. Let's have a little look at the image. It's called The Great Hall and as you can see it's got Dumbledore and he's speaking to all the students at Hogwarts. You can see the tables of all four houses and of course the magical floating candles. So tomorrow this will release and for Ruby and Diamond members, you will get your half hour early access window at 9am Pacific time. And for everyone else, general release is at 9.30 Pacific time. If we take a little look at the box in more detail, we can see that this is a square kit. And we can also see the sizing here is 85.7 centimeters by 55.8 centimeters. In this special edition box, you have the artwork wrapping around the top. And on the back, you have your instructions. So if you're brand new to diamond painting, it tells you how it works and also the contents that's included inside the box. So that will include obviously your canvas and the toolkit, which we can have a better look at just shortly. And more Harry Potter branding across the entire box. So let's open this up and have a good look at what's inside. So when you first open your box, this is what you will see. You have your canvas wrapped in protective plastic film. This helps keep it safe while it's being um, shipped to you. You'll have your toolkit, which we'll open up and look through. And you also get your little log um, book sticker, or you can use this on the box, the outside of the box to help you organize your stash. It's entirely up to you how you use this sticker, but it does include all the details that we saw on the front of the box as well. So we'll open up the toolkit now and you can see that you'll get everything you could ever need to complete your painting and there's a little bonuses in here as well. Included in your toolkit, you will first see that you get your basic diamond painting pen. So this comes with the standard single placer on the end and a matching comforter grip. What colour you get will depend, they do vary from kit to kit, but we've got this really bright green today. And it will also come with two sizes of multi-placer, I believe it's a four placer and a seven. Yep, four and seven. So depending on how you like to complete your kit, whether you prefer single placing or if you like the multi-placers, you will have all options available to you in the kit. And because this is squares, you're also given a Diamond Art Club tweezer. So if you like to use um, tweezers for your square kits, one will always be included brand new in your toolkit. They're very sharp, so make sure you keep a hold of your little safety cover. You will have your basic tray. Now this one is opaque which is great because when you're working over your kit you can see your drills clearly and they're not uh, obscured by the drill field below. It also comes with a little stopper which helps the drills coming out before you want them to. You've got your little baggies. Now these can be used to help you kit up or you can put your spare drills in at the end. It's entirely up to you how you use these. And the last of the basic part of your toolkit is the heart-shaped wax, which comes in this little heart storage pot. You will receive two of the heart-shaped waxes, which is more than enough to complete your painting. And you access it just by peeling off, if I can get it, peeling off the plastic on top and pressing down on it with your pen. Now, Diamond Art Club and all their toolkits have started to include washi tape and cover minders, which are not essential to complete your kit, but they are lovely bonuses and are both stuff that I use every single time I'm diamond painting. So this is washi tape. What design you get will vary depending on what kit you get. And you can use this to cover the um, extra bit of glue on the outside of your canvas, which stops little fuzzies getting stuck to it. Or you can use it to section off areas of your kit so that when you're working on a section of the painting, it's not too large. 
um, which can be quite overwhelming for some people if you're working on too large an area. And if you section off your kit that way, this is where your cover minder can come in handy. So a cover minder is used when you peel back a little bit of the plastic coating, is used to hold that back out the way so that you can work on that small area of your canvas. And that just works by these two magnets on the back. One comes off and goes underneath the canvas. You peel your plastic back and the other half goes on top to secure it out the way. Again, the design varies and I had this lovely little box of tulips this time. Now let's get into the canvas itself. So here is the first look at the artwork on the canvas itself. I think it looks really effective, it pops off the page and it's quite a simplistic art style but it still manages to create a lot of depth I think which is really um, effective and you can obviously see up here you've got all your floating candles which are just gorgeous. So we'll have a look at more details on the canvas in a little second but I just wanted to show you what else comes wrapped up inside it. So the first thing you get is a little thank you leaflet which will include a discount code for your next purchase. It's also got the tips and tricks and the step by steps that we've seen on the box as well as a little QR code for a video instruction if you prefer um, learning from a video and also for the VIP Facebook group which is just all people who also like Diamond Art Club so you can learn a lot of things on there as well as share your artwork. You will also receive your legend. Now this comes with a bigger thumbnail of the artwork itself and also the details we've seen on the box and the sticker. Then you've got your key here. So you've got your symbols and their corresponding DMC code. So if you like to keep your spare drills, you already have the DMC code for yourself so it's easy to pack away. Now, as you can see, all the symbols are clear and unique. So there should be no confusion when working on this kit. And from this, we can also see that we have one AB drill. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that's one of the special drills that Diamond Art Club create. It's got a special coating on the top, which has sort of like an iridescent shine. It picks up lots of different colors. Um, and then over here, we can also see that we have two of the fairy dust drills and that's because it's got the letter Z in front. So fairy dust has a little coating on top of a very fine glitter and it gives such a nice subtle shimmer. They're one of my favourites, the fairy dust drills. Now this whole sheet is a sticker, so you can use this in a journal if you like. And it also means when cutting up, all your stickers are pre-cut for you. So they're super easy to just pop on to what it, whatever it is you're kitting up into, whether it's baggies or pots or whatever. All ready cut for you, ready to go. And the last thing is your drill pack. But we'll look at this in more detail just shortly. So if we have a look at the actual canvas itself, the first thing we can see is the Diamond Art Club motto, do what makes you sparkle. We can also see that you've got your two legends on the canvas. You've got your one on the top left and also down here on your bottom right. So it's always available to you on the canvas. The material is this lovely plush sort of velvety feeling. Um, it's super soft and it's a joy to work on. The edges are also scalloped and that stops fraying. It is poured glue, so that's why we have the clear um, plastic film on the top. And if you peel this back, you can see that the Diamond Art Club glue has this very subtle shimmer in it. It's a very thick, luxurious glue. It's a joy to work on. It feels very soft. And what's great about it is if you make a mistake, there's a bit of flexibility in it that like you can pick the drill up, you can move it. But once you decide that you're happy with your drill placement, it will stay on there. I have never had any issues with drills falling off the canvas once they've been placed. Looking at the actual drill field, you can see how clear the symbols are. And that's for all our colours. There we go. 
So you can use a light pad if you like, but it's not necessary on a Diamond Dart Club kit. For the most part, you'll be able to see all your symbols without any issues. When working on this kit, you will notice that most of it is colour blocking due to the simplistic art style. For example, the, the purple on Dumbledore, this is all one colour, it's all colour blocked. Same in here, along the floor, large sections of colour blocking. So this should be a quick painting to work. Um, which is sometimes a really nice change of pace if you've been working on something confetti heavy it can be quite good just to get into a large colour block painting like this. So if we go through our drill colours you can see that it comes in a pack that already has a sticker on it telling you the name of the painting it belongs to so if you like to keep your drill separate from your canvas it's already labelled which makes it super easy. So we've got 39 colours in total and we've got the two fairy dust and the 1AB, so we'll make sure we point them out as we go along. Firstly, we have 3864, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 bags of that. We have 898. We've got 550, that's 1, 2, 3, 4 bags. And here we have Z327, which is the first of our fairy dust drills. So I don't know if you can pick it up in the bag very well. Do you see how there's a slight shimmer? I'm getting a lot of the backs of the drills here. We'll pop this out on a tray so you can get a better look. But if you can see on those little ones there, there's a slight different colour, a slight shimmer with the glitter. We'll definitely pop this out on a tray so you can get a better look at that. Then we have 728, 3078, and there's two. We have 950, and there's one, two, three. And we have 3747, and there's two bags. We have 783 and 727. Then we have 310, which is our black. Now that sometimes fills people with fear, but I can promise you that the Diamond Art Club black is very high quality, just like all their other drills. So we have one, two, three, four, five bags of 310. We then have 3776, and there's two bags. We have 141, which is our AB drill, and that is the classic white AB. As you can see, it has the coating, which gives this sort of iridescent shimmer. You can see there's a lot of pinks and yellows in that. And there's three bags. We then have Z973, which is our other fairy dust drill. And if you can see on the top, the little fine glitter and its extra shimmer. Again, we'll pop that out on a tray for you. Then we have 301, there's two bags, 300, and we have one, two, two bags, 433, 782, and there's two bags, we have 400, and we have 726. We've got 938, and there's two bags. 437, 3857, 3863, 780, 3822, 742, 434, we have 154, 712, 779, we have 435, 3064, 3046, 152, 939, 666, 738, and lastly we have 3821. So lots of purples, yellows and browns. But a very nice 
a colour scheme and we're going to pop out those fairy dust on a tray so that you can get to see them properly. So this is the yellow fairy dust and as you can see on the top there is this fine glitter coating which gives it such a gorgeous sparkle. It's very unique. And this one, because it's so bright, it's very eye-catching. This is a gorgeous fairy dust drill. So here's our purple fairy dust drill. Now this one's a lot more subtle than the yellow. But again, there is that slight uh, glitter coating on top, which just adds a little extra depth to the drills compared to your normal um, standard drill. In terms of where our special drills can be found, the purple AB, uh, the purple fairy dust, sorry, is the lighter purple in the robe of Dumbledore. So all of these lighter purples is the fairy dust. The yellow fairy dust is in the bases of all the candles. So that's all fairy dust. And the white AB outlines all the candles, including their little flames. It also outlines Dumbledore's hair and also on the placement settings of the feast tables. So that's everything I have to tell you about the canvas this week. Now just a reminder that this releases tomorrow which is Saturday the 29th of July and if you are a Ruby or Diamond member you get your half an hour early access window at 9am Pacific time and general release is for everybody else at 9.30. Uh, please do let me know down below what you think of this canvas, if this is something you'd be interested in purchasing or maybe adding to your wish list. And if there's any other releases this week which have caught your eye, I would love to hear below what you think. And I shall see you all next time. Thank you. Bye bye. <music>